Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are making Kwama Egg Quiche from the Elder Scrolls Cookbook. For this recipe you will need 1 batch of ripe pie dough 1 tablespoon of unsalted butter 1 or 2 cloves of garlic 2 medium tomatoes 4 eggs half a cup of whole milk 1 cup of shredded cheddar cheese half a cup of grated parmesan cheese and half a teaspoon of salt. Starting with the rye pie dough, we are going to combine one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of rye flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of Stormcloak seasoning in a medium bowl. Now rub in six tablespoons of cold unsalted butter until you have a consistency of coarse breadcrumbs. Once you have your coarse breadcrumbs consistency, add just enough ice water to bring the dough together. Form the dough into a disc, wrap in plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes or until ready to use. After 30 minutes, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Roll out the pie dough into an eighth inch thick and gently drape it over a tart or pie pan. Press carefully into the bottom and sides of the pan and trim off any excess. Next, prick the bottom of the pastry several times with a fork to prevent it from bubbling up. Now we are going over to the stove to melt the butter in a medium sauté pan or skillet over medium heat. Add the garlic and cook for several minutes until slightly browned. Chop one of the tomatoes and add it to the pan and cook for another few minutes until the tomatoes are soft but not yet falling apart. Once the tomato has cooked for a few minutes, remove from heat and set aside. In a large bowl, whisk together the eggs, milk, cheddar cheese, parmesan cheese, and salt. Add the chopped tomato and garlic mixer to the bowl and mix again. I also added pepper because I always add pepper to my egg dishes. Pour this mixture into the pastry shell, then slice the other tomato and evenly layer it on top. Bake for an hour or until the egg top is golden brown and puffy around the tomatoes, then allow it to cool for 10 minutes before slicing and serving. And that is it guys! This was really good! It was full of nice cheesy flavors and I enjoyed the tomato in here. The crust added a nice crunch and the Stormcloak seasoning in it added a nice flavor overall to the quiche. I would for sure make this again and recommend you guys try it out. The only thing I would do differently is add some bacon in here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be uploading again soon, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!